What is up guys, Drew Jones here. Today I'm coming to you live from California. Um, I'm in San Francisco in the hotel in a little quiet secluded area. And um, I get a lot of questions from you guys and I wanted to uh, answer them to the best of my abilities while I'm here in California. Um, questions like, how do you train? How do I often you go to the gym? How do I get started training? Things like that. Um, well, I just want to tell you a little bit about how I got started. Um, a friend of mine, uh, he goes, he's on the football team. He invited me to come lift with him, and I was glad to go. Um, he taught me a little bit of stuff. After a couple weeks, I wasn't really noticing much results. So I was like, you know what, I gotta kind of find someone that's a little more serious than this than just someone that's on the football team. So a friend of mine, um, Cross Cologne, um, he actually took me under his wing, basically, and taught me everything that he knows. And uh, we went to the YMCA, and um, he just basically went from there. Um, now what I do, I do physique bodybuilding, which is for um, aesthetic purposes, not really for strength or anything like that, but just to look good. Um, strength comes along with that. Um, now a lot of you ask me what my regimen is and what I do on my routine and stuff. Well, here's an example for an example week. On Mondays we do chest and tries, Tuesday would be back and buys, uh, Wednesday shoulders and abs, uh, Thursday would be legs, Friday arms, um, Saturday back. Sunday is usually an off day. I usually train six to seven days a week. It depends, some weeks less, some weeks more. Um, it's all basically just how I'm feeling for the week. Um, now, a lot of you guys, you wanna stay focused at the gym, so that means get off your phones, get off Instagram, get off Twitter, get off YouTube, whatever. Stay focused, you wanna stay focused on making gains. That's what you're there for. Um, and a lot of skinny guys, I ask them what they do when they go to the gym, and they tell me they get on a treadmill get off the treadmill you're trying to get a calorie surplus you're not trying to run it off you're trying to get big you're not trying to run um, now being uncomfortable at the gym a normal thing when you first start out um, it wasn't for a little while until I felt pretty confident to go by myself without cross um, but you just kind of gotta everybody starts somewhere so you can't really think about it like oh that guy is looking at me he's he's everybody looks at each other in the gym you're all sizing each other up but the guy that's squatting six plates right now, he didn't start off squatting six plates. He started off doing whatever you're doing. He, he I mean, everybody's got to start somewhere. So don't let what other people are doing affect you. Same with ego lifters. If you are doing something just to show off and your form's bad, don't do it. Because form is everything when you first start out and forever. Because you could end up hurting yourself or and then you won't get any gains ever again. Because you can't do a deadlift anymore because your back's screwed up. Um, how often do I go to the gym? I go to the gym six to seven days a week. Now, that seems like a lot of time for some people. You don't really need to go that long, but if you want to and you're dedicated enough, six to seven days a week is necessary and it's very much needed. Um, how do you eat? Um, bulking is vital to um, people that are skinny or that just want to gain weight. That's vital to when you start out. You have to have a caloric surplus. Um, basically eat high fat food, high carb food, high calorie food, high protein food. Track your meals because when I started out, um, people asked me what I was eating uh, when I wasn't making much gains. They're like, what are you eating? I'm like, oh dude, I eat so much. Well, I actually come to find out I tracked my food and I wasn't hardly eating anything. Um, so you actually, if you see the numbers, you'll be very, very surprised about what you're actually putting into your body. Um, here's just an example. Um, this week I ate uh, 5,866 calories, uh, 227.5 grams of protein, 811 grams of fat, uh, 675 grams of, ca uh, of carbs. And that seems like a lot for some people, so I'm going to break it down and just show you how doable that is with your meals. Um, for breakfast, I consumed 1,840 calories. Um, that was two pieces of toast, um, a couple servings of peanut butter, um, and then a mass gainer. Uh, which if you want to gain weight when you're skinny, mass gainers do help out a lot. Um, I suggest drinking them after your meal or else, uh, like me early on, I'd just drink the mass gainer, I'd get full and then I wouldn't eat actual food so I wouldn't gain any weight still. So drink your mass gainer after you eat your food. Um, for lunch, I kind of had a lighter lunch of 580 calories. Uh, that was Greek yogurt, a chicken pot pie and some string cheese. Um, for dinner I had 26,000, not 26,000, 2696 calories. Uh, that's a couple pieces of pepperoni pizza, uh, more than a couple, actually probably half of it. Um, ranch dressing, 
ranch dressing is perfect with pizza. It adds a lot of calories. I added 630 calories just with ranch dressing alone and then some fried chicken wings. Uh, for snack, I had a uh, medium Reese's Pieces Blizzard and that's 750 calories. So think about it, junk food, good calories, good stuff. Um, now, that's tracking your food is a good deal because then you actually see the numbers. I already said this, but it's important. When you see the numbers about what you're actually putting into your mouth, into your body, you actually are conscientious like, oh, I only have this many calories today. I need to increase that to get gains and get bulk and uh, just to gain weight overall. Um, right now I need about 4,000 calories to gain two pounds a week. Uh, if you can get over that, then do it. I'll Another big question you. I get from a lot of people is how do you get involved in the gym? Well, I had somebody, I was fortunate enough to have somebody help me get involved. Um, if you're not fortunate enough to have that, I suggest getting a personal trainer, um, which I know YMCA's offer trainers session, training sessions for beginners. Um, and that's important because you gotta have someone to show you proper form so you um, build a good foundation. Because if you build a house on sand, it's gonna crumble. But if you build a house on brick, it'll stand strong and it'll just get bigger and bigger. And however big you want it to be, you can you can build it. Um, I have a good friend of mine, Ethan Bond. Um, I'm gonna show a picture of him now. Ethan has been a huge um, motivator to me and a huge impact on me because. Um, Starting out, he taught me a lot about nutrition and the aspect like that. That it it really changed the way I looked at things. And you kind of want to take advice from somebody that is in the place that you want to be someday. Um, and that's how Ethan is for me. But nutrition is key. Proper form is key. Having somebody teach you that is already in the place that you want to be is key. Major keys to success. A lot of you guys ask me what kind of supplements I take. I take a BCAAs, which are branch chain amino acids. I take a, a creatine, and then I take um, just your regular um, protein shake. But you have to make sure that your protein and basically your supplements in general are high quality supplements. Um, if you want to know what kind of supplements I take, just go ahead and send me a, a message on any of my social medias or anything. That I'd be glad to answer it. But I don't want to give you advice on supplements if you're not over 18 and. Um, just for legal issues like that um, but if you have any questions feel free to ask me uh, personally well that is all for the Q&A today um, but if you have any more questions feel free to comment them below um, if they're not really for the comments that are more personal questions um, go ahead and add me on any of my social medias they're all in the description I got snapchat which I'm on frequently um, you can see me in my day-to-day -day life um, or add me on Twitter or Instagram uh, feel free to uh, just follow me in general. So guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this helpful to you. Thanks for watching.